Who do you have going in for this week as your start of the week? All right, this week I'm going to try to make this. Uh, why am I deciding to go back to the same team then that were in me last week? Well, I'll tell you why. My start of the week and Jacoby Myers is a lot of what you talked about for your preferred matchup. That's why I held back on it just a little bit. Didn't want to give too much away out of the gate. But Jacoby Myers going against the Chargers. Not only do the Chargers currently give up the most fantasy points to wide receivers as a group, but you have to really love what you've seen from Jacoby Myers in the two games that he's played. He was inactive in week two, but he has 22 targets still for two games played, uh, has at least 80 yards in both of those contests. Look, I talked a lot coming into the season about how much I love Devontae Adams. Because unlike guys going around him, like A.J. Brown, it was always going to be the Devontae Adams show. And nobody mm -hmm. was ever going to get in his way. That's still kind of true. Devontae Adams is still obviously going to get his. But Jacoby Myers is no slouch with the absence of Darren Waller or another true pass catcher uh, in his mold. So I love this to be, as you talked about, maybe a little bit of a, a back and forth game here. And I think Jacoby Myers is pretty much a lock to finish top 25 at worst. And I think he could do top 15 pretty easily in this matchup. Mm -hmm. I like that. Uh, my start of the week this week is Kenneth Walker, the third going against the giants. Uh, we've seen the giants just playing some very poor, poor football right now. Uh, Kenneth Walker has been getting the volume and we all like uh, a Charbonnet there, but uh, Kenneth Walker is getting the volume right now. He hasn't really been able to find the end zone so far, but I do see that changing. And I think he's going to be a great start for you this week against the Giants. I love it. He's going to be in my lineup without mm -hmm. a doubt in my home league.